Number 71. Identify the dispersed phase and the dispersion medium of each of the following colloidal systems. Starch dispersion, smoke, fog, pearl, whipped, I almost said whipped cheese, (laughs) whipped cream, floating soap, jelly, milk, and ruby. Okay, so I just pulled up this big chart uh, for, you know, to help us out for this question. Uh, The main thing here is that we just have to figure out you know, or just have to understand what the difference is between a dispersed phase and a dispersion medium in a colloidal system. Now, colloids or collodium systems are kind of the same thing as a solution, right? In solutions, which we've been talking about a lot, there's a solute that is mixed with a solvent and together they make a solution. Now in colloids, We get rid of the word solute and solvent, but we put in a dispersed phase in a dispersed medium. But the idea here is relatively the same. A dispersed phase is acting as, quote unquote, the solute. The dispersed phase is always the small amount. So for colloids to happen, if you see here, there's just going to be two uh, states that are going to be interacting. Now, sometimes they're going to be different and sometimes they're going to be the same, but the dispersed phase is always the small amount that is getting plopped into the medium and they call this the dispersion medium. So this is kind of acting as the solvent. This is the larger amount. Now, here are all the examples that are classified as colloids or part of a colloidal system. Now, we just have to, you know, find out the ones that they wanted here. So, for a starch dispersion, I look on my examples and here it is. Didn't say starch dispersion, but starch in water is the same exact thing. So maybe what I'll say is this is starch dispersion. And for a starch dispersion to happen, all we had to do was identify the dispersed phase in the dispersion medium. So for that starch dispersion, or also known as starch in water, um, that will be a small amount of solid getting dunked into a uh, a larger amount of liquid. So the dispersed phase would be a solid, and the dispersed medium, the dispersion medium is a liquid. And that's the first one. And that's how we're going to do this question. So it would take me a long time to write out each one of them, but just kind of, you know, follow along with me and just write down, you know, dispersed phase, solid, dispersion medium, liquid for the starch dispersion. The next one is smoke. Let's find out where smoke is on here. And smoke is up top here. Smoke is a colloid. It's got a dispersed phase and a dispersion medium. The dispersed phase, the small amount, is going to be a solid that is getting dumped into the bigger amount of gas. And yeah, I mean, if we see smoke, it is predominantly, I mean, you'll see it as one thing, it's just a lot of gas coming out. But in that gas, there are small, tiny, small amounts of solids. The next one is fog. Let's see. Hmm, fog is down here. Fog is a little bit amount of liquid, which is placed into a lot amount of gas. So we're talking about water, right? Because that's generally what fog is. So the dispersed phase is the liquid water, but that's being placed into the large amount of gas, which mainly gives the fog appearance. The next one is pearl. The great pearls of the sea down here is a colloid, but we see it as generally a solid, but there's little small amounts of liquid in there. Dispersion phase, uh, dispersed phase is the liquid, which is placed into a live solid, and that's what makes the pearl effect. Whipped cream, I almost said it again, whipped cheese. Mm, Disgusting. (laughs) But anyway, whipped cream. Uh, Let's see, whipped cream's down here. Whipped cream. Little amount of gas, right, air, that is being pumped into a liquid. So the dispersed phase, 
For whipped cream as a gas, the dispersion medium is a liquid. Uh, floating soap. That's interesting. Floating soap. Uh, can we find it here? Here it is. Floating soap. Which is a little bit amount of gas that is being put into a lot of solid. Dispersed phase is a gas. Dispersion medium is the solid. Jelly. Jelly, jelly, jelly. Jellies are the same thing. So you have a dispersed phase of a solid, a little bit amount, oh sorry, liquid. A little bit about uh, amount of liquid that is going into a solid and that's why jellies have that kind of consistency where it's, it's not a, you know, it's not a liquid, right? It's not running all over the place, it is a solid. Milk. Uh, milk is over here. Where are we at? I guess we'll make this yellow. Milk is a little bit amount of, you know, the liquid dispersed phase, kind of like those, like the proteins, is being dunked into a dispersion medium of liquid. And that's why when you pour out milk, you can't see the difference because the two phases, the dispersed phase and the dispersion medium, they're the same. And last but not least is ruby. Uh, ruby. Can anyone find ruby? I can't, but maybe we can, you know, uh, see where specifically it would be. Ruby is a type of gem. I believe the ruby is the red. It's the red gem. And that is some colored gems. So I'm going to place ruby in here. And ruby is when you mix a small amount of some solid. Dispersed phase goes into a larger solid. These two solids just have to be a different uh, structure or makeup. And that's it. Now just know that some of these colloids have uh, specific names like a sole, aerosol, immersion, gel, or foam. Um, but as for this question, they just wanted you to basically, you know, talk about the dispersed phase in the dispersed medium. And that's it. All right. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to helping you out in more questions. Uh, thanks for being part of the community, and I hope you're having a great day. Keep studying hard, always keep learning, and I will talk to you soon. Bye-bye.